Hello, my Cancers. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. If it doesn't, then what can we do, you know? <laughs> All right, uh, link to my website is in the description box below if you would like to book a personal reading. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to uh, take a, just a general messages from the universe. What does the universe want to say to Cancer? Then I'm going to take a peek into what the person you're dealing with, romantic or not, only you will know, lover, friend, brother, bus driver, I mean, I have no idea, um, what they want to say to you and uh, what you want to say to them, okay? In the pre-shuffle, let's see, I'm, I wasn't picking up a whole lot. I feel like your energy is coming on very strong. The moon could have a heavy effect on you, I want to say, and then also your mother may become relevant in these next few weeks. Something about your mother, words she says, some something about her. So pay attention to some some wisdom. If this isn't your direct mother, it's a mother figure. It's someone that has had a child and they are wise. Yeah. They could shed some light in an area where you feel like you just can't quite sort through it. It could be an emotional thing. You know, I'm sensing that you're waiting for You're waiting for something to come to you or come back. Or a cycle to, to, to um, like a cycle to change. And this has to do with emotions or love. You know, you're definitely waiting for like the tide to turn or Something, it's, it's, it sounds like longevity to me, or along those lines, emotional patience. All right, so what, universe, what do you, what messages do you have for the cancer, please? What messages do you have? All right, well, cancer wants to talk about love, or your heart, at least. How's your heart feeling, cancer? Are you hot? Are you, are you heartbroken? <laughs> I think you will be coming out of that if a soulmate kind of breaks your heart. and Because this um, heartbreak card came out. So I feel like there is somebody who is a soulmate that you do love that um, maybe just doesn't express it to you or... Uh, I'm just not feeling like you're emotionally fulfilled, but you feel very... Like you guys fit nicely is what I'm seeing with this yin, yin and yang card. So it's like the puzzle pieces fit, but for some reason the angel of love keeps coming up reversed here. So it's like, whoop, come on. Oh, nope, nope, not the right way. <laughs> I don't, I don't, this is symbolic, this topsy-turvy energy. I do think that you will come out of heartbreak though because the broken heart card came up upside down. Um, there's a journey that you're supposed to be going on, but because you're stuck in your mind, you're not listening to spirit here. You need to, because something new wants to come in for you, and uh, I'm getting the word fulfillment, but you kind of like have to open the door, you know, see, They're, it's coming through the door, and right now, it's like, I feel like you're trapped looking this way, but you're not really trapped, you're just emotionally engulfed in something that you feel very connected to but the, the universe is sitting and waiting for you to open the door because they're like um we have something for you here cancer could get a new um, financial opportunity something about the next couple months is going to be significant to you i want to say two so in two months there's going to be Like a new offer, I feel like. and But I want to say this has to do with you. Something that will benefit you. It's not about you and another person. But you might be so engulfed in another person or a specific partnership. Something you're focused on that you're forgetting to answer the door. So don't, so think about it. Just keep that in mind. This is predictive again. This is energy coming up for you, I'm sensing. Um, all right, universe, show me the person that cancer is dealing with. 
What does this person want to say to Cancer? Ooh, they may, <laughs> my fingers, I, they might, they may find you a little hard to handle. <laughs> I couldn't get a grip on it. This person may be very focused on their finances or they feel like you are. If that doesn't apply to you, then they are. Very earth energy, kind of like, um, yeah, I'm working on this stuff. Why, uh, okay, let's see. What does this person want to say to Cancer, please? What did they want to say to Cancer? Okay. Okay. I'm hearing uh, somebody may go cold on you. And then I'm also seeing There could be someone, could be an air sign, perhaps an earth sign. They may be whoever this high priestess is. Okay, so this high priestess isn't saying anything, but she's like watching, I'm feeling like. In the Knight of Swords, I'm feeling like somebody's angry at you. They could verbally attack you out of nowhere. This person could go from being silent to just coming out of nowhere and attacking you, I'm feeling. Cancer was attacked by the high priestess? I mean, such an unlikely thing for... <laughs> High Priestess is angry. Okay, all these cards. Again, there's something hidden. There's a lot of details in here. You may have to sort through. If you are going through paperwork, I give you extreme caution during this time. Read everything carefully because there's details hidden. You have to sort through it. There could be things as well going on with an air sign that you're unclear of. And it has to do with, because I'm sensing, I see this energy right here, but I want to say there's two energies. But I'm having trouble sorting through it. Um, what else does this person want to say? Oh, yeah. No, somebody is wants to fight with you. Some, And I feel like this person can be ruthless. They don't give up. So, yeah, I don't know if you're currently in um, an argument with someone. I'm not feeling like, I don't know about what's going on in your relationship, but I'm seeing someone here just really coming at you hostile out of nowhere. But I feel like you, you see happiness with a fire sign. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but... Uh, the Emperor is Aries. Um, that There could be a conflict with that. I mean, I'm trying to get what they're saying to you, but I'm just picking up energy in general that I think somebody's going to come out of nowhere and they're going to be a little bit confrontational. I don't know if this is in person or over message, but this person wants to fight they are mad and i don't know if they're just mad at life or they're mad at you <laughs> but um they could be mad that you're with a fire sign <laughs> or something hmm. interesting and um, if you are dealing with a fire sign, they like to be around you. They feel very comfortable around you. Like they could bring you around their family and you would do well, I'm feeling like. Again, I think you're getting messages. There's like, um, there's at least three energies here trying to deal with you. And the first two are a little bit more aggressive. I don't think you're going to like this. But down here, it looks like it ends well. You know, you get some happy communication from someone that uh, 
you're interested in, you know, that you, I would say. All right, so what does Cancer want to say? <laughs> well, eh, maybe Ten of Cups reversed. So something wasn't making you happy. This could have to do with family or somebody that you're dealing with, but you could be feeling a little bit dissatisfied with something right now. All right. Uh, what does Cancer want to say to the person they're dealing with? I feel like the person you're dealing with moves super slow. And you want to move forward with them. You're very sexually attracted to them, passionate with them, more fire, air, energy. Um, you could find new balance with a Libra as well. This could be in the future, I don't know. New balance with the Libra is what I'm hearing. I don't know if this is a friend or whatever. But yeah, I'm sensing that you've got like this retrograde energy could be a little bit heavy for you because I'm seeing conflict. I'm seeing people that want to argue with you. I see somebody moving slow. You do find happiness in them. They have a very strong, dominant, boss-like energy. But then it's like... You may do well with another water sign. Like you may be very compatible with another water sign in the future. Uh, Pisces maybe. What does Cancer want to say to the person they're dealing with, please? And I think that if you did fight with somebody, um, you want to move on from that. You want to, I think there's gonna be communication that you want to move forward, you want to move on. Um, I think you're a little bit worried about this, though. Maybe because this individual, you might have pissed them off in some sort of way. Or they're just not willing to compromise, maybe. But you just want balance. Again, more Libra energy. Okay, one more card for what Cancer wants to say to the person they're dealing with. I think you're going to be communicating a whole lot. This card keeps... I'm getting a lot of earth, fire, earth, fire. So uh, communication coming in. Probably from a fire sign. But this person is very trapped in their head in regards to emotions. Which could make you feel trapped because they're like really closed off to that. And um, that could be hard for you because you're, an, I mean, you're a cancer. You're ruled by the moon. Emotions. So you're like, okay, why can't we get this ten of cups upright? And I feel like this person sort of is like, what do you mean? It is upright. <laughs> Different love languages, maybe? Not sure what's going on here exactly. But I do see a lot of anxiety for you. Something is falling apart here. You could have a fight, but again, with this retrograde any all any <laughs> retrograde energy, all of these planets, I mean, people are really going through there's things crumbling, illusions being just destroyed. People are having to step back and really take a look at things. I mean, I'm getting a ton of 10 of swords, 8 of swords energy in almost every one of the readings that I have done. So, you know, we're all kind of as a collective trying to figure out, like, how do I bring balance back into this? Because everything feels like the world is in chaos. So, you know, but there's a lot of mental conflict that you're having. Probably because you have so much coming at you. This just feels intense. And there is somebody stable here, but they just are turtle slow. Yeah, which I don't think you're too into. Or there's a, if this isn't a person and this is business, like you're like, no, 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 then business is, go, your money ter returns or gains is just going turtle slow. But again, in the next few months, something is going to be, did I already say this? I feel like I did. Something's going to change in the next few months. You could get an either, I don't know, I'm just sensing like a money coming to you or something like that. Could be this scenario, but I am seeing, you know, in two months, this won't be the same what you're dealing with. So, all right, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I am signing off. Bye-bye.